Welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I am Jordan, and today we're going to look at something called The Knot. And the reason why I say something is because I bought it under the guise that I believed it was Irish whiskey. Turns out, it is not Irish whiskey. Uh, it's Irish monstrosity. I don't know what. I don't know what to call it. I tried to look for it, and I could not find anything anywhere on the internet regarding the name brand, who put it out, what's in it, nothing like that. So, um, a little bit in the dark on this one. Uh, I bought it because it was reasonably priced. It was $20.29 here locally in Wyoming. Um, you know, most Irish whiskey was starting at like $25 and up. Uh, with the exception of like Jameson and, and some of the others. And so, um, you know, trying to branch away from those bigger brands and find something, I was like, oh, and this was sitting right next to the Irish whiskey bottles in the Irish whiskey section. So, of course, naturally, I believe, hey, it's Irish whiskey. Um, but then, of course, it is not. Um, so, <clears throat> technically, I believe it is classified as an Irish liqueur. Uh, I think it's very similar uh, so, sorry, I was just reading on here, um, seeing if there was anything distinguished about it, but, um, you know, I thought, oh, 100 proof, that's pretty awesome, uh, you know, got a higher proof than a lot of the 80 proof um, regular Irish whiskeys, uh, so 50% ABV, now I believe, like I said, it was, you know, maybe classified as a liqueur. Uh, it, it falls similarly to like American whiskey, like um, here I got this Kessler, so a Kessler American blended whiskey. So this is whiskey mixed with neutral grain spirit. Um, I believe that's what this is. So I think that's how you get your 100 proof out of it, is that this is neutral grain spirit mixed with Irish whiskey. Now. No idea how old the whiskey is, no idea what percentage of this bottle is neutral grain spirit and which is whiskey, um, but it is an Irish whiskey blended into it. And um, it says that it's colored with caramel. So there's caramel coloring in here as well. Uh, there may actually be a little bit of flavoring in here as well because it is fairly vanilla caramel um, flavored but uh, all that being said let's give it a try let's see where it goes you know if anything else maybe it's a good mixer maybe it uh, you know maybe it's reasonable for a hundred proof and 20 bucks <clears throat> okay so plus you get a little as they say on the whiskey tribe or the whiskey vault fiddly bit on there, um, which kind of like that. So <clears throat> on the nose, extremely caramel, vanilla, a little bit, very, very little bit of that Irish whiskey shortbread cookie note, but just mostly caramel vanilla. And that's why I say there might be some flavoring in here is because it's so dominant uh, and sweet smelling that there might be something in there along with that caramel coloring so <clears throat> it smells artificial to me um, but you know it's kind of a pleasant smelling nose if you like sweet smelling things I will say the flavor is confused it's very bitey uh, alcohol bitey and sweet at the same time so that also leads, leads me to believe that it is some kind of artificial sweetener artificial flavor put in here um, very very sweet very very caramel vanilla I mean it tastes very much like it smells only with a very harsh alcohol ethanol bite to it um, Ugh. It's it's like a weird candy flavor, um, like a weird candy sweet mixed with um, 
with alcohol. Um, boy, I do not like that at all. I don't know what to tell you. Um, it, you know, it, it's made clearly to be able to mix. You can mix this in something and you'll get something really nice out of it. You can maybe make a big ginger with this or a Moscow mule kind of a thing or, um, you know, ginger beer. Uh, pretty much anything you'd put Jameson in, you could probably use this for. I have to say this is the first thing I've had that I can't, I can't do a neat pour. I, I, this just is not pleasant at all. Yeah, there's just nothing good to say about that. Uh, so hopefully we haven't ruined the rest of this shoot with that because that is horrible. Uh, um, but uh, there you go. If you're looking for a, a cheap, high-proof mixer, this might be your go-to. This is definitely not something that you're going to sit and enjoy on the porch. Now, it might stand up to being put on the rocks, and I don't have any ice here, so I'm not going to, you know, try it. But, um, you know, with how sugary sweet it is, it might actually tame itself down a bit in the ethanol category and become a very nice sipping liqueur. Um, but uh, that remains to be seen, and... Um, Boy, this one's just a rough one. So $20.29 here in Wyoming. Um, the Knot Irish Monstrosity. But it does say it's a product of Ireland. It's made in Ireland. It has uh, some Irish whiskey in it, but it is just unpleasant. So I don't know what you want to say about that one, but you know, go ahead and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you can find it for in your area if you can find it. Um, if you have any experience with this, let me know. I'd be curious to see what your thoughts are. But uh, as far as I go, this this is this is a no go for me as far as a neat pour. Um, and we're gonna have to find something to put this in. We might use it to marinate some steaks or something like that uh, somewhere along the way. But um, for now, there you go. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. If you're getting some value out of this, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And um, you know, if you got any topics of conversation you'd like to see in, your, in the next couple of videos, uh, let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you have yourself a great day, and we'll catch you in the next video.